Hi, I'm Shorty and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Shorty Skate Series. In this video, I will demonstrate my approach to one foot plate stalls. Being confident at plate stalling with two feet will help you with this trick. But first, I want to discuss three types of plate stalling that I see most often. The different techniques can impact the way you hold yourself on the coping. Technique 1. Roll-on stall. This technique is what I do most often, and I have a tutorial on it if you want to learn it. It's where I will pump all the way up to the transition, and as I reach the coping, lift the front of my wheels of both skates to roll on to the coping. Technique number two, step on stall. This is where one foot steps onto the coping, followed closely by the other foot. You can do this technique at various places on the transition. However, the lower down on the transition you start the movement, the higher you will have to step. Technique number three, jump on stall. As the name suggests, you will launch off the ramp to jump onto the coping with both feet. Again, you can start this at different points on the transition, but the lower down, the further you will have to jump. Now onto one foot stalls. As I mentioned before, I prefer the roll on stall technique. And for one foot stalls, I will also use this method. But sometimes I do step on to the coping. However, my step on is so small, it can sometimes just look like I'm rolling on. But before I talk about how to get onto the coping, I want to talk to you about balance, as I believe balance is the most important thing for one foot stalls. And I'm not talking about the front to back balance, as the coping will help you with that, but it's the side to side balance that can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Because if you use a slide block, you can easily slip out if your balance isn't right. So you can practice balancing on one foot while on the ground, with or without skates. Standing with your feet underneath you with a slight bent knee, try to lift your non-dominant leg. If your weight is still centered, you'll fall to the side. Now, look to shift your weight over to your dominant leg, thinking about keeping your nose, knees and toe in line, and engage your core. Try lifting your leg. Do you feel the difference? Stalling on the ramp is similar. You want to shift your body weight as you roll or step onto the coping with the mindset of nose, knees and toes and keeping your core tight and chest up. If you're still tipping to one side, your weight may be too centered and it will take practice to get the right balance. If you're still having trouble, look at what your knee is doing. If it's bending inwards, it will mess up your balance as you'll try to overcompensate by tipping your body. However, doing this on a ramp will cause you to slip out. Okay, now let's talk about how to get onto the coping with one foot. I find rolling onto the coping with one foot is easiest as I don't lose contact with the ramp at any time. Same as a two-footed stall, I will pump up the transition and ride it all the way up. As I'm about to reach the coping, I will raise the front wheels of my dominant foot. As I roll onto the coping, I will shift my weight into this leg as I lift my non-dominant leg. To build up confidence stalling on one foot, you can start by rolling one foot onto the coping, followed by stepping the second foot onto the coping. Then aim to delay stepping the second foot on until you don't need to put the second foot down at all. The roll on technique and even the step on technique if you step on to the coping quite close gives you a lot of time to pivot your momentum around the coping and do a grab or strike a pose. But you do need momentum to pivot and hold your pose. I found jumping into the store can land you quite upright so you have less time to get into the pose but you may be able to hold the pose longer as your body is more on top of the coping. So I hope this short video helps you with nailing your one-footed stalls. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more skating tips and tutorials, product reviews and adventure vlogs.